a special edition of Inside Asia. I'm now with Dr. Piyachat Pirom Sobat. He is an economist at Sassin, working in the Faculty of Finance. He has been involved in the preparation of the report on Thailand's competitiveness. And as I understand, the latest report of Thailand's ranking of the World Economic Forum is that we are doing worse at 38th ranking compared to all of the 139 countries under the survey. What's the rationale of this report? So first of all, I would like to talk to you a little bit about the, um, the fundamental idea of the national competitiveness. Right? Uh, World Economic Forum started uh, this project a long time ago um, in line with the research in economic growth literature. The idea is that we would like to find factors mm. that are important for national competitiveness. Mm. Right? Um, then World Economic Forum identified the 12 pillars okay. that are important for the national competitiveness. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're looking at uh, each of these uh, pillars, mm. they all seem to be like a good thing. Mm. Right? All of them seem to be a good factor. Mm. Well. The importance of the national competitiveness statistics mm. is to understand which factors are really important for a particular country okay. at this moment in time. Mm -hmm. right? uh, another important point I want to emphasize, which is a uh, very interesting and unique feature mm. of uh, the methodology of World Economic Forum, mm. is that World Economic Forum will not treat every country in the same way. Okay. For example, develop that country. Mm. They should have their own way mm. of developing that country. Mm. Thailand, again, we should have our own way of developing mm. our country. Mm. World Economic Forum will divide country into various stages, okay. and they're going to put different emphasis mm. on factors mm. for uh, each country in different stages okay. differently. Okay. Right? That will be a fundamental. So Thailand way. is now in what stage? Now? Thailand is now in uh, efficiency-driven stage. Okay. Now, in efficiency driven stage, right? Actually, it's a we can call that the middle stage. Okay. We have passed the basic stage in mm. which you know basic infrastructure, mm. Uh, mm. labor intensive, la the labor intensive thing are very important, okay. right? Now we are at a stage in which we should try to improve our efficiency in you know productions and doing business, okay. right? Um, you mean creating more value to Creating our more products. value to okay. our products, right? And of course, later on in the future of Thailand will be to uh, create an entire new product. That will be the innovation stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can this uh, report prepared by the World Economic Forum can help us you know, or, or can provide us as a guideline so that we move on? Because I understand we also have the uh, National Economic and Social Development Board, our own. We have the think tank of our own. We have the Thailand uh, Research Development Institute. We have other think tanks. So, what uh, what can this report you know, plays a role? I mean, in terms of of augmenting or, or increasing, you know, our awareness about these issues. Okay, uh, this is a very good point, and this is actually a very important objective to using this report. Now, I would like to show you a very simple uh, figure, mm. right? As I said, one of the important features of uh, the methodology of World Economic Forum is to not treat every country in the same way. Okay. In particular, this means that its factors, mm. its pillars, mm. will receive different weight. Different okay. weight means different importance, mm. right? So Thailand may be orange, and then Japan or Singapore is apple. Yes, yes. So the basic idea is to, uh, in one element, we should focus on uh, factors that are very important for our state of economic development. Mm. Right? Another dimension that we should also look at would be how are we doing relative to other countries. Okay. So in these simple figures you can see that in one axis we have the contributions mm. of its factor. Mm. That would be the weight assigned mm. by World Economic Forum. Mm. Another axis would be the ranking. Mm. So to put it very simple, mm. the key idea of how we should uh, uh, allocate our resources mm. is to think about the important weaknesses. Okay. The important weaknesses are factors that are re uh, that receive high weight mm. and uh, has been performed really, really poor in terms of the ranking. Mm. Mm. So uh, the main factors that have contributed to the deterioration of a ranking over the past uh, few years, uh, probably since uh, the year 2006, 
probably the political factor. Definitely. Uh, uh, the, the, the public institutions might have uh, something to do with this because in the report it has cited cl very clearly that increasingly the Thai public have less trust in our political system or political institutions. What's happening there? Um, well, I perfectly agree with this point. Now, when we're looking at uh, institutions, right, uh, political uh, institution will be in, uh, in, in that category as well. In institutions, we're going to see that they have about 20, cat, uh, 20 subcategories. Okay. And it turns out that for Thailand in the past uh, three to four years, pretty much almost all of the, the, the subcategories mm. has deteriorated. Some example includes um, uh, property rights, mm. some example include uh, uh, trust in politicians, mm. some example... Let me ask you this, does the political coup, military coup, have anything to do with this, with the deterioration in the trust? Um, very possible, very possible, because um, one thing that I want to emphasize is this one. Uh, for the World Economic Forum, we rely two-thirds on survey, mm. okay? And in another word, it means that we will ask the uh, executives mm. in uh, various companies mm. about their view, mm. their perceptions about uh, the uh, institutions overall. Mm. Definitely the coup and the you know, political instabilities will affect the, the sentiments and the perceptions mm -hmm. of the CEO. In which that is actually a way, an indirect way mm -hmm. the World Economic Forum mm -hmm. used to measure. How large was your sampling size in this case? Uh, normally, the methodology, the, the sampling methodology from World Economic Forum would like to have about 80 to 100, mm -hmm. right? Uh, on average, that uh, depends on, on year on year. Mm -hmm. Some year we have... It varies. It varies. Okay. And, and in this case, uh, uh, the survey covered about uh, 50 or 60? About 50 or 60, 60 for, this, for this particular year. Okay, okay. Yeah, so is it comparable to the survey uh, which is uh, being conducted in other countries? I, I believe it is because uh, basically the, the, the fundamental of the, the survey is to make it sure that the survey uh, is representative enough, mm. right? Of course, having a higher number of sample will be good. Mm. Uh, but however, the, uh, uh, in this year, the, the number is a little bit uh, lower than mm. uh, the normal. Mm. But however, it's still not significantly lower. So I still believe that uh, the result that we have is still credible. Okay. So what do you think? How should Thai policies, policy makers react after reading this report of the World Economics Forum, okay. giving Thailand's competitiveness a lower ranking should it serve as a wake-up call, you know, for all of us to uh, to react. Suppose if you are to be an advisor for the government, how wh what uh, uh, how should you you recommend the government to do? First of all, as we have uh, discussed, one of the objectives of this report is to prioritize areas of improvement, mm. right? Um, as for the Thailand. If uh, we use the approach that I have discussed to you, the uh, you know, uh, identify the major weaknesses and the major strength, mm. we're going to see that three areas mm. uh, have been uh, major weaknesses of Thailand okay. since 2007. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number one is institution. Institutions. Number two. Number two is health and primary education. Number three. Number three is technological readiness. Okay. Uh, these are three elements which uh, are also the major weaknesses of Thailand mm. in 2007, mm. which has uh, significantly deteriorated mm. in the past uh, couple of years. The importance of uh, this report mm. is to, as you said, uh, as, uh, serve as a wake-up call. Mm. Another important objective information to the government mm. to put more emphasis on this element. Mm. The report itself will not tell us exactly how to solve the problem, mm. but the report itself will help us identify area that, that we really need to put resources into. Who should be responsible in, in doing this? Um, actually, I would say everyone. It, it has been known for a long time that uh, institutions is one of the factors that it's quite difficult to change, mm. and it will take long time to change. Mm. Now, uh, one of the main reasons for this is, is it's, it's not just because of the government. It's actually something that's uh, very fundamental, very foundation. Has to do with our political culture. With, with the political cultures, or even with um, you know, the, the, the way Thai people behave on a, on a daily basis. Mm. Right? So for example, you know, we, we, we probably neglect mm. something like 
uh, when when some people uh, you know doing bad thing mm. or uh, you know run red lights, we like we, we forget about it. Yeah. No. So uh, there is no rule of law. Something. Well, we, no there, legal there, enforcement. There, 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 there's some sense, but it might not be enough. Okay. Right. So in order to improve uh, basic institutions, I believe that every everyone, mm. right, including the government, including mm. the private sectors, including the university, okay. including uh, the the everyone, every mm. Thai citizen mm. should think about this issue more seriously. And uh, of, as I said, it's going to be difficult. It's going to take times, but uh, we have to do it, mm. right? Uh, for the other tools for uh, primary mm. uh, educations and health, mm. um, I believe that the government have also try mm. to 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 put more emphasis on this, which is mm. which is also a good thing. Mm. By throwing money at it, um, by by throwing money at it is uh, uh, one way to put it. However, however, um, it's also going to be important that we throwing money at it in the right way, mm. right? Uh, just putting money into some things might not solve the problems, mm. right? It's going to be important that we, we put more thought, we mm. do some more research mm. about uh, how we can really improve the, 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 the quality of uh, primary mm. education, mm. right? So money is not a problem. The problem is how to. How to. Mm. I think that's, that's the more of the key issues, mm. right? And that, that's the, the same idea applied for technological readiness as well, mm. right? Mm. Um, uh, some of the, the uh, we, we already have very good basic infrastructure, mm. right? However, for some uh, of the technological infrastructures mm. that will be important for mm. later on, the innovations, mm. right, the improvement of technologies, mm. uh, we still lag behind, you know, country like... Uh, Why are other countries in the region, say like Vietnam, China, or e even Indonesia, are yeah. doing much better than us in terms of primary, primary education development? Why? Um, it depends. Right, the dif different different countries have uh, their own experience. Right, um, I believe uh, part of the reasons reflects um, actually all of these twelve uh, pillars, all of these twelve factors, mm. are, are somewhat integrated. Mm. Right. So, for example, uh, the fact that we have uh, uh, bad institutions can also have impact mm. on the the primary education as okay. well. Right. We can see that, uh, you know. Uh, if the basic institution doesn't function well, okay. it also goes to badly affects other okay. areas as well, mm -hmm. right? So I believe that it's a, a complex integration of mm -hmm. all of these mm -hmm. um, uh, factors that uh, make different countries have different experiences. Okay. So what happened with our uh, technological innovation? Is that our weakness? For the technological readiness, right? Uh, we can see that um, there are a lot of uh, uh, sub mm -hmm. in in this technological readiness that. Um, has been major weaknesses in 2007, mm. right? Uh, for example, it, c it includes the number of internet users, mm. it includes the uh, availability of the latest technology, mm. right? Uh, the recent example would be the, mm. three, uh, the three, three 3G thing, mm. things like that. Mm. Now, um, the important thing is that all of this uh, uh, technology, mm. all, all of these uh, uh, factors uh, are very important for technological adoption. Mm. Right? And technological adoption is very important for us at this stage. Mm. Right? Uh, and, of, and of course, later on, technological readiness will be even more important for us mm. when we move on to the inno innovation-driven mm. stage. Mm. Uh, we appear to be using technology for our pleasure, leisure, or entertainment yes. rather than for education or for uh, uh, improving our business uh, environment. Is that the case with Thailand at the moment? Um, I believe it's a case with Thailand, um, I think, um, in the past five or, or, or six years. However, I believe we have seen uh, several improvements, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but of course, that improvement, when we compared it uh, to the, the ranking from the World Economic Forums, it seems that the improvement might not be enough, mm -hmm. right? Particularly okay. when we compare to other countries. What are some of the bright spots in the World Economic Forum's report that you can see that there are lots of improvement there? Uh, for Thailand. For Thailand, Okay. Yes. Well, um, 
So for example, if we can see from, from this uh, figure, right, um, the major strength of Thailand lies in the market, uh, market size mm -hmm. and uh, labor market efficiency. Mm. Right? Our uh, country has a population of 65 million right? with strong, relatively strong purchasing power, you mean? Um, well, ac actually, that, that's not entirely correct. Um, our domestic market mm. is big, but it's not very big. Mm. What actually really big is our uh, international market. Okay. As we know, um, more than 70 to 75 percent of our uh, GDP comes from export, mm. right? Uh, the fact that we have, we, that, that we have large markets, a uh, World Economic Forum considered this as actually a, a, a big plus, mm. right? one, one, one important factor. Okay. Now, um, one thing that I want to say to you is this one. Uh, as we said at the beginning, mm. that uh, in the recent year, Thailand has deteriorated, mm. right? Well, we talk about the big three that makes the, the major deteriorations. Now, however, other areas, other factors also deteriorate as well. The, the only area, the only factor that has been improved is actually about the uh, financial market uh, mm. side. Mm. Right? That is the only area that we improved. But uh, going forward, Thailand is part of ASEAN. We are going to have the economic integration free trade area by the year 20 and and 12. So uh, we have to also put Thailand in the context you know, of the regional competitiveness. So Thailand and ASEAN is, is a block, one block. So looking forward, how can we use this World Economic Forum's report to, to, to measure or to assess the comp competitiveness of, of ASEAN you know, vis-a-vis the other countries? Okay, um, for ASEAN overall, uh, it seems that the uh, competitiveness, national competitiveness of ASEAN on average overall is actually better, mm. right? Uh, this is actually an interesting message for mm. us because uh, we as a part of uh, slightly of ASEAN, better or significantly slightly better. better? Slightly, slightly better. Slightly okay. better. So uh, just about one or two positions better. Okay. Right? Uh, however, but uh, what I want to emphasize is uh, as compared to ASEAN, it turns out that in the last uh, couple of years, uh, our positions relative to ASEAN uh, is, uh, has been deteriorated somewhat. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, to put into the, the context mm -hmm. of the uh, strength and weaknesses mm -hmm. of ASEAN, okay. right? Uh, it turns out that the uh, major weaknesses of ASEAN mm -hmm. is, uh, lies in the uh, macroeconomic stability okay. and uh, labor market mm -hmm. uh, uh, efficiency. What happened to our, I mean, in the regional macroeconomic stability? Because, you know, if you look at the report, okay. uh, Southeast Asia seems to be doing very well now uh, okay. with a very high growth rates. And most of the countries have accumulated strong international reserves and, and, and most of the countries are export oriented and they are doing fine, you know, with exports. And the financial sector uh, doesn't have any problems with bad loans. So what can you expect more you know, from, okay. from stability for, for the ASEAN countries? Okay. Now, uh, first of all, let me emphasize one thing, is that the report from World Economic Forum focused on fundamentals that's important for long term. Mm. Right? Uh, we can easily see short terms that you know, these countries' performance is, is okay. Mm. okay? Uh, but however, when we're looking at important factors mm. that are uh, fundamentals for long-term economic growth and economic mm. de development mm. uh, in the area of macroeconomic stability, so for mm. example, think about uh, Vietnam, mm. right? Uh, Vietnam has uh, inflation problems, mm. right? Uh, has uh, currency problems, right? Uh, other countries like Philippines, like um, Indonesia, mm. they also have uh, their, their own problems, mm. right? Uh, what the report uh, concludes is that overall, on average, ASEAN's macroeconomic stability seems to be one of the uh, major weaknesses uh, okay. of, of the region. Mm, mm. So what are some of the strong points? Okay. The uh, strengths the strength. of, of ASEAN. Okay. Uh, it turns out that the uh, strong point of ASEAN would be the, uh, the education, primary mm. education. right? and uh, technological readiness as well, mm. right? Which is actually contrary to the experience of Thailand, mm. right? So on average, right, we can see that um, uh, ASEAN uh, overall will have their, uh, their own, the, the, uh, the unique weakness, mm. right? And also the unique uh, strengths mm. as well.
mm -hmm. right? uh, as the case with Thailand. Mm -hmm. right? But one of the points that I, I want to emphasize uh, later on is that um, when we're looking at the uh, major weaknesses among ASEAN, now we can see an interesting pattern. Right? And that pattern is that um, there are several countries in ASEAN mm -hmm. that share similar weaknesses. Mm -hmm. The important weaknesses, the, the, the way we understand it is, is that these are the areas or factors that mm. should receive priority. Mm. Right? I'm not saying that the other uh, factors are not important. They are important, but the priority, the area that should receive priority as a major weaknesses. Mm. And, we can share, uh, and we can see that many countries in ASEAN share uh, many similar uh, major weaknesses. Mm. So are they competing against each other or are they complementing with each other. Is there indications that we as a country are trying to compete against other member countries in, in the ASEAN or are we complementing each other? Um, this is actually a very important point and it has been an important uh, philosophical question for a long time. Right? Um, a lot of people think when they think about competitiveness, mm. they think that it captures only uh, the competitions of different countries. Mm. Uh, in the past uh, 20 years there have been research, there has been um, uh, a lot of investigations in which um, most of the countries can benefit together. Mm. Right? Uh, the improvements of one country, is, it can create market, mm. it can create cooperations. Mm. So I believe ASEAN overall actually provide very good opportunity for cooperations. If you look at the ranking of China, it has been improving quite steadily. So how should ASEAN position itself? And if you look at the trade or export profile of, of Thailand, we are now doing more trade with the, with the ASEAN region and also with China. The point that you, you raise is a very good one, that uh, China is a very interesting opportunity. Mm. Interesting uh, issues that uh, uh, actually, every company, every firm, mm -hmm. the government should take a look at uh, this issue seriously. Mm -hmm. right? I'm looking at, uh, at China as a, uh, a very good opportunity for many countries in ASEAN mm -hmm. to diversify mm -hmm. their export. Mm -hmm. right? And as, uh, as we have, have known, the, uh, one of the uh, major problems in the global financial market recently uh, happened among uh, developed countries. Mm -hmm. And if our exports are concentrated in you know, these groups of countries, mm. then we are subjected to a really great risk. Mm. Right? So the fact that China is doing well, mm. uh, the fact that we export to China more and more, mm. uh, is actually a good thing. Mm. Right? Not only that, I also believe that um, uh, the role of China mm. will also make ASEAN uh, stronger in the global uh, economy mm. and environment, mm. right? particularly in terms of uh, uh, negotiations in uh, many things, so uh, I'm looking at this in a positive way. Okay, one of Thailand's strengths lies in the labor market that you mentioned, but uh, on the other hand, wage hasn't increased uh, significantly you know, over the past years, whereas wage uh, in, in Vietnam or in China appears to be rising faster than us. Or, or how do we, we weigh these factors or, and do the Chinese workers uh, enjoy more competitive advantage over Thailand in terms of their flexibility in undertaking uh, 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 the manufacturing of value-added products. Okay, uh, about la labor market efficiencies, um, it captures the efficiencies in terms of the uh, uh, firms and enterprise mm -hmm. in order to have the best resources. Mm -hmm. right? So for example, uh, uh, it allow firms to uh, uh, hire uh, uh, worker quite quite easily, mm -hmm. right? Uh, there's no there, there's not so much uh, restrictions for firms along that front, mm -hmm. right? Um, this is pretty much a, a model of the developed that countries, mm -hmm. and the important or the advantage of this is it allows the productivities mm -hmm. of uh, of the production to increase, mm -hmm. right? Uh, about the wage issues, right? Um, that's actually a different. Uh, different different issues. Mm. Uh, wage issue is actually more of social issues, mm. and it is a really important one, mm -hmm. right? Um, and the the reason that uh, well, you you mentioned this uh, at this point is actually a very good thing because mm. of this. I want to emphasize that for World Economic Forum, 
World Economic Forum looking at mainly productivity. Mm. Now, uh, some people might argue that when a World Economic Forum look at only productivity, it neglects other things. Mm. Right? Now, technically, I don't, wanna, uh, I don't want people to look at, uh, looking at it this way. Mm. The objective of the World Economic Forum is to focus their resource on a particular element mm. which uh, has been argued and has been believed to be one of the important factors okay. for the welfare of people. Okay. Right? Equal, uh, equality of wage, equality of uh, opportunity, mm. environment, mm. Uh, health and other things are also important factors okay. as well which uh, the government and other people should looking at these reports along with something uh, okay. other reports okay. as well. Going forward, uh, how should you recommend us, uh, uh, or what should we do over the next three medium term, three five years, in order to improve our competitiveness? First, we should uh, soft and improve our major weaknesses. Okay. As we have discussed, it's about institutions, it's about health and primary education, mm. it's about technological readiness. Mm. Another thing that we should do is to maintain, at mm. least doesn't make it worse, mm. our important strength. Okay. That's the market size and that's the labor market efficiency. Mm -hmm. So over the next few years, the government should put more resources and should put more emphasis mm -hmm. on major weaknesses that we have problems. Do you think we have any hope of achieving that? As I said, as, as we have discussed, um, I believe improve, uh, improving the, the national competitiveness can be a difficult task and it can be a process that takes some time. So in the short term, it might... Uh, um, Hopefully, I, I, I believe that uh, we will see some improvement right, if the government are moving into the right directions. However, in the short term, we might not able to see a significant improvement. Mm -hmm. Improvement in institutions, uh, primary education, health, or even technological readiness can take some time. But it's the time that we need to take because we need to move forward into the future in any way. Unfortunately, our time is up. Thank you very much, Dr. Pijachat, for you very joining us.